Okay, this is a quick video showing one of two uh, wall climbing uh, devices. Basically, I have a uh, vacuum uh, input right here. This is uh, pulling a vacuum right here. This is the inlet port to the uh, pad itself. This is the vent port right here. This is the vent. And here it's isolated on the inside so that whatever vacuum is being pulled here is pulled through the support uh, part here, which uh, it serves also as my handle. We have two rods here. I wanted to limit uh, the weight of the entire unit, so I went with uh, uh, electrical conduit. It's a half inch thin wall electrical conduit. And here and here are two tubes. Uh, it's going to be uh, sharing the vacuum uh, with the foot pedal down here. So this is where I place my foot. This is another pad. It's a smaller pad than the upper one. And this will be pulling a vacuum here so that uh, it'll keep my foot uh, from moving side to side and it also will aid in the, the support of the entire unit. Uh, since some of my weight will be supported by the vacuum created here uh, as well as the vacuum created up here. There's going to be two as I mentioned. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the vacuum and we can uh, see how it works. Um, basically the design uh, I came up with using uh, PVC. These are PVC uh, parts here and right here is the valve uh, stop uh, lever here so when I turn it in this direction uh, it's pulling a vacuum okay and which then seals the vent and then when I turn the handle the other way uh, this now vents and it seals uh, or it seals the vacuum so that it continues to pull a vacuum on the other pad what I'm going to do is have a T right here so I'm going to use one vacuum with a T so the vacuum here will be to one pad T out to the other pad so when I go to move this paddle all I have to do is close this off which isolates this entire hose but still uh, pulls a vacuum on the other one so I can isolate one pad from the other by turning the handle so uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll pull a vacuum on both of them I'll stand up on the pad then I'll transfer my weight to the uh, other one I'll open the handle lift it up and then lock it down and then transfer my weight back to this one and vice versa so I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here uh, right now it's no it's not under vacuum this is in the uh, a closed position I'm going to turn on the vacuum okay. so basically like I say there'll be a T here and they'll be pulling a vacuum on two of these and so what I'm going to go ahead and do is turn the handle here and stick it down. Okay, let me uh, try this again. I turn the handle so right there. Now it's pulling a vacuum and it's holding it up there. My foot thing is down here. I'll show you here. I'll pull on it. So basically it's holding it against the door. Okay, and then when I go to move it up or down, in this case uh, I'll go down. Or I can go up I guess. Let me go ahead and go up. I release the vacuum after I've already moved to the one side. I go up, lock it down, okay, then I'll transfer over to the other side and uh, carry on up the, up the wall. So that's how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, release the vacuum. I'm going to slide it down to here. I'm going to lock it in. Okay, there's my foot thing down here. This is the, that's the, the part that uh, holds my upper body, this holds my lower body, my, my feet uh, down here on the lower pad. Okay, so if I'm standing here, I loosen it, I move it up however far, I lock it down, okay, so it's locked down. I can now step on the, the pad over here and lift myself and lift myself up. So like I say, this keeps my feet pretty uh, pretty steady right there from uh, weaving back and forth. Uh, and like I say, it also helps to support the entire 
a weight of not only the vacuum but uh, two of the units and uh, in my case it will be one at a time as I shift my weight back and forth. Lock it in. Okay. So there we are. Turn it like that. That opens the vacuum. I move it up. Lock it in. Right there. And then this, like I say, then I step on this. 